So imagine being a multi-billion dollar video game company that did an oopsie on the other side of the planet. You're being bombarded by external and internal issues left and right, but you finally set your foot down and fully commit to dying on that hill. So what do you think is the last thing you want in this scenario? Hmm... A mass of angry mobs rallying at your doorstep for a really bad corporate decision you made a year ago sounds just about right. My friends, Ubisoft just can't catch a break. After months of issues and scandals from Assassin's Creed Shadows, Ubisoft is now under fire again from European gamers simply because of a single bad decision. For those of you who were unaware of the situation, Ubisoft basically had this always online racing game called The Crew. Last year, they announced that they will be shutting down the servers and delisting the game from stores because of server infrastructure and licensing restraints. While the game wasn't new, in fact, it was released all the way back in 2014, a big game company completely erasing a game from existence was completely unheard of. The game's live service didn't just get cut off. Ubisoft didn't even bother with an offline feature when retiring the game so you can't even play it anymore even when you've already bought it. Which understandably enraged a lot of people that were unfortunate enough to spend money on the game. Even dead MMOs don't get this kind of disgusting treatment. Other dead live service games can at least have the opportunity of being published and maintained by a different publisher or even the community through private servers. The crew, however, because of the fact that they're a Ubisoft IP and companies really love their IPs, have a very, very slim chance of ever seeing the light of day again. I've never played the crew, but apparently, despite being a buy-to-play game, it was plagued by microtransaction features that artificially slowed down the game's progression in order to force its players to spend real-life money. While this system isn't exactly rare in buy-to-play games, it is rare, however, for one to completely shut down and take every penny you spent with it. Except for MMOs, and gotcha games, and online browser games. But even if we argue that the crew was an MMO and it happens all the time, so why is it a problem this time around? Well, as I mentioned earlier, other MMOs at least have a chance of being revived by other publishers. The crew, on the other hand, is at the mercy of Ubisoft. But there is a deeper and more sinister problem consumers are facing, and the crew is only a very small part of it. Every massive company in the world seems to be focusing on pushing their own subscription-based platforms or services. Even Ubisoft is looking to contain their biggest franchise in its own live service platform that we only know as Assassin's Creed Infinity. It's still not exactly known how Ubisoft will go about this idea, but for the people who own Assassin's Creed games on third-party stores like Steam, I am really worried for you guys. You see, our digital ecosystem seems to be going through a drastic transition. Digital ownership is rapidly being replaced by subscription-based services. And while getting access to a library of games or movies for cheap is a pretty good idea, companies are now starting to go overboard introducing subscriptions to absolutely everything. Even Tesla, freaking cars, they're pushing subscriptions on cars. And don't even get me started with Logitech's or Logies forever mouse like what the hell is a mouse subscription supposed to do give me aimbot even groceries have subscriptions now like what? It's absolutely absurd. While it may be a pretty convenient service right now, imagine what happens when absolutely everything in your life requires a subscription. First things first, subscriptions nowadays are fairly cheap because the alternative is oftentimes more expensive upfront. But look at what they're doing with subscription services right now. All of them are raising prices. And some are even going as far as introducing these poor people tiers so they can justify their price increases and also open their business to more investors and clients through ads. Right now, you're probably paying around $15 per subscription, and I want you to think how many subscriptions you have active as of this moment. Now imagine if every single one of those subscriptions suddenly doubled in price. That's exactly what's about to happen if we normalize live service and subscription services over actual ownership. And the worst part, a service that your life depends on can just magically disappear someday. And that's the scary thing about this whole ordeal. That's why this initiative against Ubisoft is such an important thing not just for gamers but to all consumers as a whole. Oh, and by the way, the movement is called Stop Killing Games and is spearheaded by YouTuber Ross Scott or Accursed Farm. And they are gathering a million signatures all around the world in the hopes of changing EU law in an effort to stop game companies from destroying their beloved games. While the movement is focused on consumer rights for video games, it may also be used as a basis 
for pro-consumer laws regarding subscriptions and live service products. If this movement comes out to be successful, then we may just have a bright future ahead. If not, then we're probably on track to live in a dystopian world where you own absolutely nothing, pay absolutely everything, and trapped in a vicious never-ending cycle of companies bleeding you dry of your hard-earned money because absolutely every company wants to fuck.